So, hello everybody. Uh, of course, um, you are listening uh, the teachings uh, with greatest motivation. Uh, just uh, what we read as that and just remind yourself so that is necessary why necessary because for ordinary people number one focus is uh, the intention and the motivation whatever you do for what either realistic or there's no such thing realistic or unrealistic and motivation level as much as you can think as a, a great and a huge uh, motivation limitless as important especially Today's topic is uh, uh, what is Tantrayana? Uh, so to identify Tantrayana, uh, to understand this is a extremely a rare opportunity. Um, you cannot even hear it unless you uh, have done uh, oceans of accumulation merits uh, uh, countless years. Otherwise, you you cannot even listen this. You cannot even hear. So why? Mm, maybe I can tell you a few reasons. But a true complete understanding the, the reason in this, uh, until we understand what is Tantra really is, until then, uh, we never understand completely. So the reasons uh, have to gradually, you have to understand the reasoning. So let's say, First, uh, there is a few terms. Uh, maybe we should clarify. Let's say Sutrayana and Trantrayana. That's two things. Uh, um, the two categories of the uh, Buddha Dharma a huge, a massive uh, categories. Uh, and then, when we say uh, Tantrayana, what does it mean as a Tantrayana? Is continuity. Something, yana means vehicle. Uh, vehicle means uh, content many things and, and to carry uh, and transfer, trans, transportation. So many aspects. So yana means that. So is something continuity uh, transparent? Or in this case, you have to understand the like transportation. Transferring is a, uh, you have to understand the similar of the trans, transforming. So it's just a little bit different way of saying, different way of thinking about a very similar meaning. So, why this yana, this vehicle uh, called continuism, and the others uh, not continuism? 
if you understand that, that helps uh, to understand the Tantra era. That's one thing, okay? Second thing, uh, other terms we use, we say, uh, which means the vehicle of a cause and condition or the vehicle of the result or the fruition. So we're talking, uh, you know, like the result, vehicle of the result and fruition means the tantrayana. The vehicle of cause and condition means sutrayana. So think about that different meaning. And then another term we call uh, uh, Sutrayana and Vajrayana. Or other, other, uh, other name we say Mahayana and Vajrayana. So Maha means great, and then Yana means vehicle, or great vehicle and indestructible vehicle. So indestructible vehicle means Vajrayana. So that is Tantrayana, Tantrayana. and then uh, great vehicle means not just every Sutrayana, but the high Sudrayana is great vehicle. Even if that is a great vehicle, still is you cannot compare indestructible vehicle. So why? Those things we should clarify first. So why called Tantrayana continuism? and the other, uh, other path is not containerism. First, maybe we un try to understand that. So the other path is not continuity because you have problem and then you have remote, remote, and then you apply. So means there is such thing you need abandon and such thing you need, uh, need uh, adapt. So these uh, two things is very hard to completely even and balance. So that's why uh, very easily to go um, one extreme, another extreme, then you try to meter that kind of, because you're too busy and too many things to do, too much requirement. Some things naturally you have it, like desire and anger, so forth, you have to abandon. You have remote, but the remote is a very new, new habit. And then this one is very natural. Innate, innately born with you. And then the others, you have to find a new one. So that's why it's, it's not continuity, something flow like a, a river. It's natural, not naturally flow, which means. But the Tantrayana, if you know how to take the path, then yes, continuity. Why? Because there is no such thing abandoned. So therefore everything is naturally you have is you can take us path as naturally so then, therefore, is continued. And then the other words, when we say the 
co uh, the vehicle of cause and condition. Just, we don't say vehicle, okay, this time we just say part. So easy, I remember. So part of the uh, cause and condition means the sutra and the path, you always are cultivating cause and conditions, then you wait for the result. Why you have to wait? Because too many cause and conditions gone everywhere. In innumerable lifetimes, you already have it, the karma, and hidden level within yourself. And currently, you, uh, you carry ones have to weave in everywhere. So that's why you cannot immediate uh, result. You just have to wait and for a long time, you just keep accumulating a cause and condition, keep accumulating, keep accumulating. So that means sometimes you discourage it because you, you don't see, you don't see immediate result. So that's why it's not, uh, that's why we call the part of cause and condition. That means you focus always cause and condition. So the tantrayana is, we call the part of result. What do you mean part of result? This is, I think, very dangerous to misunderstand. When we say path, Path is something we really need to take. However, path is have a purpose. The purpose is the result, the result of fruition. So path is for that. If your path is already is a result, what, what do you have to do? You do? It sounds like you don't have to do nothing. So that's why people misunderstand it. Sometimes the Tantrayana, you don't have to do nothing, nothing to do, because this is part of result. You already have the result. So this is uh, a dangerous to misunderstand. So what does it mean then? We have to know what it, what it means, uh, part of result. Means, You, what do you practice in a path is you not just focus on cause and condition, instead you focus in a similar of the result. That means regardless your capacity, regardless of, of your level of qualification, but your direction always focus on what is the result. So that's why we call part of result. Okay, what that means, for instance, when we say sutrayana practice, okay, sutrayana practice, okay, I have too much desire. So let's say I have too much desire for a person. I can't control my desire too much. So, oh, you have antidote. So what is the antidote? Oh, you visualize it, the, all the dirty things inside that incredible you attracted. And then you realize slowly, oh, it's not everything is perfect. There is such incredible, unimaginable dirty things inside all of these things. In is current, currently, everything is just so many dirty things inside, but also as soon when it's rotten or whatever, you think something more deeper than is such things, there is dirty things. So then your, that doesn't maybe your desire eradicate it, but it's pacified your desire. 
So like that part is the past part of cause and condition. You know, is you focusing and the part, uh, the, the cause and condition and you apply as antidote uh, against your desire. So which means as uh, a fighting with your enemy. So your own desire is a lucky enemy and you try to apply the antidote. But in Vajrayana is not like that. Instead, you against your desire. You imagine yourself as a perfect, enlightened, fully enlightened being. And then whoever you had the desire as, as within yourself, uh, the best way, but other, uh, even others, uh, this is part of you, is a, you are with union. So you, that way you are practice. So that means it's totally different. You didn't abandon anything. You region, didn't return anything. Instead, you took as your desire is a path rather than a bending. So why that is a lack of result, the part of result? Because result means the ultimate fruition, the ultimate purpose of the path, the achievement, the accomplishment is you can call fully enlightenment, but also the specific tantra and a term we call the ultimate union. We call the ultimate union. So you are even not ultimate union yet, but you imagine that way. And you can take that union path as much as your capacity. So that is similar of the ultimate union. So ultimate union means that you don't reject anything. You don't need to reject anything. Every existence within you is your union. You know how to unify rather than reject. So that is similar of the result. That's why it's similar, that's why it's part, not the result, but we call part of result, why call? Because the part is similar of the result. So that makes sense, isn't it? When we, when we learn anything, when we are not so good, then we try to copy, we try to emulate. And then we become slowly, slowly getting better and better. No matter how million times you are fell, but you every time fails, you get get better. So that's why we call part of uh, the result. And then the other name, when we say vehicle, vehicle means you know the. When we say always say vehicle, yana, yana means vehicle, uh, yana is Sanskrit word. Vehicle means uh, vehicle transfer, but also can take, contain. So same thing, this path you taken, when we say path or vehicle is very similar. So when we say path means where you transferring, the basis of transferring. And the vehicle means the, the tools to transfer. So similar, similar meaning, a different aspects, a similar purpose, same purpose, a similar meaning. So when we say less vehicle, or you can say less path, 
great part, uh, indestructible part. So less part, or you can say common part or basic part. The basic part means you want enlightenment. You want free from suffering. Therefore, you plan antidote. You practice in cosmic condition. You wait in for the result. But for only for your for only for your liberation, your own liberation. So that we call basic, basic part. And then the other one, great path or great vehicle, which means you not seeking your own liberation, but you seeking for liberation of all beings. No matter you for yourself first liberated or you first liberate or your motivation first liberate all beings and after that yourself liberate or same time doesn't matter your single purpose is for everybody so that's why we call mahayana path but that means your motivation is perfect there is no better than that but your taken path is still a sutra in a path which means you taken you need abandon, reject and apply antidote. You need this fighting on the path. But then the Tantra, and we say indestructible vehicle, indestructible vehicle. Why we say that? In Sanskrit called Vajrayana, indestructible vehicle. Why we say that? Because the other one, you have destroy, something increase, something decrease. Something you bind in, something you take in. But this one, nothing you need destroy. Nothing you abandon. Nothing you need fight. Everything becomes part for you becomes friends for you, becomes everything you need, not abandoned. So therefore, therefore it's indestructible path. There is no destruction, right? So that's why indestructible path. But why we need that many paths? If the uh, Vajrayana path is the, the best path, why we need uh, many paths? The answer is, no matter how great the path, the person is not suitable on this path, then you have to take a limit. So that means if you can take only, if you need uh, went to, uh, go, uh, need go to somewhere, no matter your destiny, same three people, but one person only knows bicycle, so then you have to take bicycle, and the other person knows the car, so you have to take the car better. The other one, only one person knows the aeroplane, then you take the aeroplane. Or whatever we say, uh, spell shape or whatever. So you cannot have no skills and you just take the, the great one. It's dangerous. So therefore, you need many paths. So dependent who you are, which one are related for you, you take that path. Of course, human ego, uh, human beings 
uh, uh, incredible ego uh, always uh, because we have habit to uh, control by ego. So that's why uh, some kind of uh, we are diluted uh, ego controlling. That's why sometimes most of people think, oh, yes, I want the indestructible part. I definitely want the the, the best one. The materialism, you can use the best one. If you, if you own, you can use that. But uh, the spiritual part is your suitability, not what you want, what is what you suit. So that's why uh, you can, is which part is suitable for you is your personal suitability. So that means how we take Vajrayana path, what you need, need the conditions, think about a few things. There is, should be external conditions internal conditions and there is secret uh, the hidden level of conditions the external condition of course you need to find a qualified vajra master if you want to take a tantra and a path you have to have qualified a Vajrayana Tantrayana master. Why? Because Tantrayana means is not generalizing, is a personalizing. That's why you need teacher, it's not just oh Buddhas everywhere. Buddha Shakyamuni lived Dharma for us over 2000 years ago. That's not enough. You have to have something, your personal level. But, and that qualified teacher means, what does it make qualify? How do you know is qualified? That big question. But more simple level, unbroken lineage, transmission holder. That means hidden, you know, the transmission, even telephone transmission, we cannot see. Mobile transmission, we cannot see. It's something hidden, but it's still absolutely necessary there. That's one you have to have unbroken that one. But a more obvious level, your teacher have to be a peers uh, better than yourself not less than yourself spiritually. You can't say, oh, we would like to be equal. Huh? We, our culture like to everybody equal. Huh? We don't like, we don't believe anybody superior, inferior. No, 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 no. <laughs> so that one is not, that one is suitable maybe uh, for something else, but uh, in, not in Vajrayana. In Vajrayana, you need surrendering, you need surrendering, okay? You need surrendering. Especially beginning, you need surrendering, total surrendering. When you let go of the ego and completely surrendering, 
And then, just like uh, best soil, best rain, things grow. But you don't have that, then instead, instead again, ego controlling you saying, oh, Uh, yeah, showing off the teacher as good, not good enough. So need this external condition. But more importantly, your teacher or yourself, which one more important is yourself. Yourself to qualify a Vajrayana follower is more important than teacher. Why? Because the fundamental even the Buddhism, you are the responsible, not the Buddha, not the God, not the, your teacher, anybody else, it's yourself is a responsible actualize your own good nature. So the teacher is closely with great kind and compassion uh, your facilitating you. So that's why I, I think often people forget uh, oneself. Instead, oh, which teacher is better? Oh, this is not good enough for me. This is good enough for me. You know, this is maybe. So is yourself, ourself. But this thing is still is external condition. Do you know what means in, in, internal condition? You need a genuine love, a loyalty, a love and de de a devotion. So that is the internal condition. So is that means you have a, a genuine love and loyalty uh, the dedication and devotion and dedication toward to the teacher, is that good enough? The answer is no, not enough. You have to have that for all sentient beings, but how to start with your teacher? Start with your teacher and then second your dharma, brothers, sisters, which means any of same teacher, same Dharma shit together. All of them is your Dharma brother, sister. This is a very big problem in the world. It often appears that everybody like the student, uh, the teacher, but not the student. Always student is fighting dislike each other, or even you didn't fight, didn't dislike, but you just don't really appreciate. So we have to appreciate your Dharma brothers, sisters, Sangha. Otherwise, why Buddha put a three jewels? as a refuge, as you put a three jewels. So that's why we have to know that. So this is internal condition, you know. But the hidden condition, what is the hidden condition? You know, the hidden condition
we never know that is something a new mobile lifetimes how you build that marriage that connection with the teacher with this path what i mean is we never know means if there's two students let, let's say who they did do the same thing same respect the same what hard working same practicing you know everything same 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 but the one has incredible progress one is not always unfortunate obstacles so then human being easily oh maybe dharma said not true buddha said not true maybe karma is not fair what means the hidden condition not same the obvious level you both same and the medium level you are both same but the hidden level you are not same so you cannot discourage you very there quickly you cannot blame very quickly you have to understand this you need more understanding you need more patience and tolerance if you do then the obstacles may be very fast past but often people fell that path so that's why we have to be careful all these things what i'm talking about i'm not talking about tantrayana i'm talking about the condition of the tantra so when i say that you may think oh you said the condition part of condition is only sutrayana tantrayana is not condition and condition i didn't say unconditional so even tantrayana have a reason to say continuity indestructible the path of result all of them i explained it doesn't mean you no need effort at all but the way of effort how do you do is different that's what i'm saying so otherwise why we something imagine something we are not you could think like this some if some somebody have no hidden connection and the tantrayana maybe they see is very silly you just sit down there and imagine something you are not but the, the question back how do you know we are something not because the person thinking or oh, or oh, you visualize it yourself you imagine yourself as a deity enlightened a big as the universe all these things is not real you are so very small and a fit in this small house and you are for a jar that means you understand only one level of truth which means this relative truth is actually is illusion you and me and all these things as illusion compare the the absolute truth but when we imagine we are bigger than universe or whatever bigger than the universe and powerful for us the universe which means we imagine our absolute truth of the buddha nature we not imagine oh i'm donkey or i'm a zebra 
uh, um, you know, tiger. It's not that. We not imagine the relative level of animal and human. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the absolute level of the truth. Right now, I only can imagine, but I, if I have enough imagine, and then one day I can experience something real, even not 100% real, but one part of the real, then I understand. Then I encourage it, encourage it. So then I have much more enjoyable path, very courageable path. Therefore, when we say result means you imagine, you visualize it, you generate in yourself Kala Chakra, which means you reminding yourself is not that small for Jarwan. This is a temporary illusion. Just like you had dream last night, as somebody crashed you. You are not that one. Not today you wake up, oh, that's a just dream. So same thing, when you wake up from enlightenment level, then, oh, oh, what we did silly things, oh, that's just illusion. You realize that. So that you imagine now. So that's why it is part of the result, the vehicle of the result. So now, how to do it, what kind of take steps? The steps you take first, external conditions, internal conditions, the only two, you check yourself. It's not important somebody judge you, but you judge yourself. Which one I have not enough? Which one I need to cultivate? Which one I need to cultivate more? I definitely can cultivate. Not say, I maybe I do. It's not say maybe. I will do. I can do it. Why I will do it? Because always, as soon as you start, why you have need Makkana around? Why you can? Because I have the absolute perfect truth within myself only temporarily I don't feel I dis distant. So why there is no good reason not actualizing your own perfect truth rather than you are suffering uh, in fragile illusion level. So that's why Vajrayana path makes sense. Absolutely makes sense. But if it's not make sense to you, then you don't pretend. You rather take Sutrayana path. Oh yeah, okay. I'm angry. When I'm angry, I can't control myself. Then I do very bad things. So I better to I better to, you know, uh, pacify my anger. Try to think in something else and forget about it. or whatever, whatever you apply. That's only choice you have. But if 
you can use angra as a path and then why why i need why i need to re, uh, you know reject and remove let's say if you are have a, in the car if you have a car you are driving the road if there is many rocks you cannot go over then what do you have to do you get out of you stop the car you get out of from car and you remove all the stones and then you go back in the car and you drive there's no other option that is a sutra and a path that's why it's not continuity you have to stop the car then you have to get out of the car then you remove the stones then you have to go back in the car then you have to drive <laughs> so that is sutra and a path so that means you have to stop the angry you have to stop the desire you have to apply many antidotes and then you go back <laughs> so vajrayana means your car can can drive on the stones you no need remove the stones so that means this all rocks becomes your path your road not your obstacle road or let's say if we have legs we just walking on the rock we don't need remove so that is your road is not your blocking road the same thing either desire either you know angry anything you use them as path but are you able to use or not is you cannot mistake if your car cannot cannot use the rocks as path as road but you still try and then you break the car your legs cannot walk in on the uh, this big rocks but you try and then you break your leg so if you can't then you can't say oh nobody can so if you not sutra uh, not suitable on the uh, vajrayana path you can't say oh vajrayana path vajrayana is something wrong wrong religion and the wrong path you can't say that yes maybe wrong path for you but not for somebody else So that's why the essence of the Vajrayana is you not abandon anything. You learn in how to use as your path, as your help. The other time I explain, you know, like a powerful tools. if you know how to use the tools very well then incredible power for a fast what are you working working on but if you know don't know how to use the tools maybe clear yourself you achieve nothing and go deep so the same thing if you don't know how to use the, your anger jealous ah uh, desire everything if you don't know you don't know use how to right away and then is dangerous yes for someone dangerous it doesn't mean every dangerous for everyone is something dangerous majority doesn't mean dangerous for minority you know so it is up to everybody what the suitability what the conditions you have you build i mean you know in your mobile life times so the 
even this, you know, like guru and student relationship, all these things, for some people may be very silly, may be very silly. Because, you know, like even I heard some, some people say, oh, oh, you know, like even like Buddhist, some Buddhist traditions say, oh, you guys worship human. We don't worship human, we only worship Buddha. I'm sure then the others think, oh, Buddhist worship human. Even Buddha was human, but we worship only God. We definitely superior. Uh, we only worship God, but they worship human. It sounds crazy. Yes, true. For you is, for you is they are crazy, because in 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 your mind already the God is something superior. Nobody can compare. And the human means just like yourself. So you, why you worship human to human? But the other point of, point of view, oh God, I don't know even exist. Buddha, mm, we have some history, but it's long time ago, he's gone, not here. But who, who I can relate it, you know, or I, sh you know, I cultivate all my good qualities. And, you know, I can rise all my good feelings, love, compare, you know, like devotion, everything, loyalty, everything. And this person, this group, this is a tremendous uh, benefit in my life. So why I need why I need worship God or Buddha? Buddha means I'm not talking about historical Buddha. For me, that's why oh, this teacher is number one, right? Number one teacher. Then after maybe Buddha. <laughs> that's why we have these old uh, chantings, prayers. Say I worship the Lama. I worship the Buddha. I worship the Sangha, uh, uh, Dharma, the Sangha, like that. So that's why I said before beginning, Tantrayana is a secret vehicle. We call it secret vehicle. That's why I said is personal, is personal, personalized, is not public for everybody. So that's why I tell you how Buddha taught. When we Buddha taught a basic a Dharma, basic Buddhism, Buddha taught based on common sense. So that time, the world is flat. The sun and moon rotating the earth. So Buddha didn't change that one. He just lived like this, as everybody believed. And he taught based on that. So that we call basic uh, Buddhism. Basic Dharma is suitable for everybody. Why? You don't go too deep, so it's not controversial. But if you say, oh, no, that time, you say, Buddha say, oh, no, the, uh, the world is not flat. It, they, they're like this, then every, some people are crazy. We know that later on, some scientists say this, and then what happened? The same thing could be happened Buddha. So Buddha didn't go that controversial. He said, he just based on live like that, and based on that. That's the same thing our small children don't know something, we just live like that. And then we 
talk around that, but the children know. Same thing. Compare Buddha, uh, we are children. So we live like that. Then he realized, oh, there's more intelligent people, more they can go deeper. Then he went to Mahayana Vilko. And he told more, saying, oh, liberating yourself is selfish. No, all sentient beings, self, you know, you need, we have to have motivation, have liberated all sentient beings. The same thing, you know, the small minded, this earthquake or tsunami or something happening, small minded people, oh, I see myself. Oh, I can't, I can't save my family, I just save myself. That's it. But some people could think, oh, is, there is no benefit to save myself if I can't save my family. So at, at least I'll try all together. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, if it's even greater, I will sip all we together. I, 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 I have confidence I can sip everybody. The same Buddha taught. As still he didn't taught the Vajrayana. These two vehicles he taught as a human, but the Vajrayana he didn't taught as a human. Okay, that's what we have to understand. Buddha Shakyamuni, he wearing simple robes and shaved hair, and you know, that kind of simple monk robe, he never taught Vajrayana. When he taught Vajrayana, for instance, he taught Intrabhada incredible merits in numerable lifetimes already cultivated that, that can Intrabhada. First, the Buddha. Uh, oh, he requested Buddha teaching. Then Buddha teaching the cause and condition, like slowly. Then, then the king said, I never want this teaching. I want, he said, I never want this teaching, cause and condition. I want, you no need to reject anything or the desirables together. I want that path. Then Buddha said, okay. And he make sure all no more monks, no more everything absent. And then he himself manifest different, not that simple monk. And then he taught. Same thing, Kalachakra Tantra in Shambhala, or the Shambhala, Dharma kings and, and sages only for them, not everybody. So Buddha, you have to remember, Buddha never taught Dantrayana for public. Public means selective, selective way of teaching. So why need select? Because secret. Secret means not for everybody. Selective. Why selective? Because suitability. Why secret? If you tell everybody, some dangerous for some people. Not dangerous for everybody. It dangerous for some people. So ancient time, people don't know a lot of knowledge as now. Now as information age, we need more educated rather than secret. So that's why I have the vision, we educate gradually, gradually. But even we educate, we can't educate just once, total. You, he needs to take gradual education of Dantrayana. Then people know, okay, yes, 
or yes for me or not for me. Then you know. And also, I see as you should try. You should try. But in ancient time, there's no much option try. The traditional way is no option try. It's secret, not for you. So if it's for you or not, you have to do all many conditions, focus on the quantity, all many hundred thousand times, many hundred thousand times. And then later, okay, maybe. Um, mm. Okay, so I sit over here. If you have any questions, please. Okay. If anyone has any questions, uh, either here or online, uh, please add them into the chat on Zoom in the Q&A section uh, or in the Facebook feed uh, or anyone here uh, is welcome to ask a question as well. So our first question is, in the past, I only wanted to follow the highest teachings. Now I realize I didn't have the right motivation and it was a tendency to grab. Now, this is still present. So obviously it's still in me <laughs> that I have this tendency, but I realize that I have to practice well the basics um, like the four thoughts that turn the mind before proceeding further. Would it be a good to have a new start following the Kala Chakra path? Okay, so this tendency is not just you. I think this, uh, this tendency is almost every single human being. I have to say almost, not not 100%. Some very special people, of course, thought, but definitely majority. So even to realize that is uh, in, incredible, good. And of course, new, fresh path, really important. And the basics, of course, important. Everybody knows whatever work we do, our base is no good, then no matter how it looks good, and then sooner or later, and then it fell down, fell everything, fell off. How can we use our practice to help other beings? Um, if we are just ordinary people, do we have this power? <coughs> help other beings is not about how much degree you can help other beings. That's not number one important. The more important is how often you be mindful of this and how you develop in within yourself even that courage. You have to examine, keep examining your own courage how strong and how stable and how increase, increasingly develop. That is need people focus, not how much I immediately effective, uh, you know, the others. 
that come later. Uh, they come gradually. Um, can the gentleman asking the question in Hungarian, can you put your question into the Q&A? Okay, so the next question is, uh, what is the difference between Kala Chakra and Tantrayana? Okay, Kala Chakra is Tantrayana. Uh, so all the Kalachara, uh, Chakra Sambara, Hevajra, and uh, you know, uh, Gusmaya, uh, Dzogchen, everything is a range of uh, Trantrayana. Uh, some people say, oh, Dzogchen is not Trantrayana, but uh, I think the majority agrees Dzogchen is part of Trantrayana. Anyway, so. Uh, that means Kala Chakra is Tantrayana and one top of Tantrayana, but more importantly, is the kin of the Tantrayana, which means uh, much more comprehensive uh, compilation uh, of Tantrayana is the Kala Chakra Tantra. So Rinpoche, in this modern time, is it possible to maintain a close relationship with a spiritual master without living nearby him for a long period of time in the traditional way? It is possible and also always not always physically uh, close and uh, you know distant uh, very uh, the distance very close is not always important the important is how you appreciate that more important uh, why is not important the distance because human beings have limitation and uh, anything we have to close or too accessible, then we immediately lose loses as appreciation, loses as the value. That is human nature. So when we do this, the immediately effect in our own spiritual progress. So that's why uh, always the the teaching, great teachings suggest not too distant or the teacher, but also not too close, they suggest. So that means if somebody is a very special person, then yes, sure, definitely you have benefits, you have always access. But if you are not that very, exceptional person, you are just kind of a uh, normal range of the people often lose the importance, lose the appreciation, many things. So that is not, not very important. So Rinpoche, would it be disrespectful to receive the Kala Chakra empowerment if I already have a Vajra master from another tradition and I already have the practice of Vajra Yogini? So, so what this is okay. Uh, 
is I, uh, I think the basic human principles is loyalty is something good quality. However, sometimes people mistake the loyalty or attachment or uh, bias is what is the difference that we have to understand the loyalty and bias, okay? That's something we need to analyze. Uh, doesn't matter you uh, if you are biased, uh, spiritual reasons or whatever reasons is bias is bias. It's, it's not very good quality. But if it's a loyalty, then yes, is good quality have lawyer your teachers. But at the same time, <laughs> your loyalty it is uh, how do you say a limitless uh, or there's some how do you say some boundaries is boundless or boundaries you have to think of that so that means in general definitely you have to have some loyalty for and not just the spiritual teacher any relationship. However, the loyalty cannot be boundless. Your loyalty and your friends, for instance, quality not matched, then why you be loyalty still? So that's not even become lawyer. That's loyalty, something else. The same thing, If people have one teacher, one practice, completely satisfied and progress, then fantastic. You don't need to look at anything else. But if there is not totally satisfactory, is nothing wrong, you approach other path, other teacher or anything. Even you are test, what is wrong to do test? Even you cannot test, that means, that means then your teacher relationship becomes like a samsaric marriage. But some cultures you can say, oh, I'm a marriage, but I want to test another. It's not acceptable. So sounds like become similar of that. Uh, Rinpoche, could you give a practical example of how to bring and use anger on the path? Yes. Uh, when we anger, we have to look at anger. Is my anger is beneficial? So we, we very easily to know your anger is beneficial or not. Why? Because anger is totally controlling you, then it's not useful. But anger in empowering you, then it is useful. Okay? So that means when you using powerful tool, it seems like the tool is overwhelming you and it seems like you don't know how to control very well, you better to stop. But it seems like you managing the tool and still do the job very powerfully, then you why you drop the tool? The same thing when you are anger, what you use anger using for? Is something for beneficial? You know, somebody are uh, going the wrong path. If you don't use anger, whatever other methods you use doesn't work. 
then anger is the possibility to force them, stop them, whatever the wrongdoing or whatever the harm, or then why you have to draw anger? It's very easily no. You just first, you have to test yourself. Am I doing for beneficial? My anger is for beneficial or, uh, or harming? If you just only don't like because your ego challenges or your selfishness challenges or anything, that's why only you anger, then it's even is a little bit controllable, but still you're not doing, you're, you're, anger, you're using anger is not for beneficial purpose. So we better to not use. But even you, Using a beneficial purpose, you stop in somebody's, you know, like the harmful action, dangerous action, or whatever. But if they don't see this way, and if seems there is possibility gone completely wrong, then you have to have some control. Uh, <laughs> you, you use a little bit anger, then see as a test. If it seems not working, then okay, you have to stop. If you can't stop, that means anger controlling you. So you definitely have to escape. So Rinpoche, I'm, I'm interested in learning meditation and Buddhism. How can I tell if Tantra or Kala Chakra would be good for me. First, you have to listen. Um, this my this talk, or any other talks, and then uh, other talks on Tantrayana, whatever you uh, listen those things and read, and then. You have to get feeling which one you you like. You can't immediately at today I have to decide. It takes time your decision, and requires uh, more uh, reading and contemplating, and feeling intuition. You have to uh, is you have to take some time. 